Killer yeah. Hooker first, Q. If we get a season three, we got to hire a redneck. You come back like you were in Vietnam, <laughs> necklace full of wieners. Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve Dave. Walt is here. Hello. And Q is here. Hello. And Bry is here. And you know who's not here? Fucking Ooh. Rob Zombie. <laughs> because we're not going to let him be here. <laughs> Are we going to go out on a limb and say this now that uh, Rob Zombie is not welcome on Tell Him Steve Dave? I mean, not welcome? Why? What, what did he do? Uh, he didn't really do anything, but we have a list of potential rockers, right? Well, right. That we could or could not uh, have on the show. Right. Rob Zombie's name came up. So we have to. We would have. To, I mean, it's unlikely he would even do the show well, anyway. Want, well, no, he wants. Oh, to he's begging. Oh well, no, he want, <laughs> His people want to know the number of downloads, and they won't. Do, they won't even commit unless it's a number. The number is a high enough number. What do you think his number is? A hundred thousand. Well, we got that covered. We got that. We got more than hundred thousand. Really? Yeah. yeah. Boy, then those booty times are so really fucking uh, a small percentage. It's not of working. <laughs> it's I don't know. I, I, I mean, I wonder how many people are actually listening then to to the uh, hundred thousand. Are they just? Are they just? Are they just subscribe to it and they just I forget know, about it. What's the percentage then? If I get a hundred orders then, out of a hundred thousand, it's, it's like one percent, like a hundredth of one percent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I would look, I would relook at those numbers. I don't know. Did Rob Zombie's people ask that? They're like, "How does your booty time do?" <laughs> I mean, realistically, that's an awful that's an awfully low percentage of people who respond to um, even the even the vinyl then, or yeah. the puppet theater. I mean, a hundred thousand people listening, and then. Yeah, but not everybody's not got be it. as popular it's... as we thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> People do- people download it so they don't hurt our feelings. Basically, <laughs> when you look at it, I like you should. When you throw a hundred thousand, that's a lot of downloads. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of people don't just don't have money or or don't you know want stuff. Okay, I, I've never met anybody who doesn't want something. Yeah. Well, from us, <laughs> <laughs> or to pay for it, right? Well, the Rob Zombie thing is like okay, so we have them on. And I'm sure he wants to talk about Lords of Salem, which is was, I mean, coming out soon. My feeling was we, Q, you, you weren't involved in it. You couldn't make it. Uh, we did an interview with a band, right? A couple like last week, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It didn't feel like Tom Steve Dave at all. I missed an episode recently. No, we didn't air it. No. Oh, okay. Remember I asked you to come and you couldn't. You didn't. Yeah, it was like a know. Friday. Yeah. But you guys did it and then didn't. Right, we were, and you you couldn't make it. I guess you were on the road or something, yeah. and um, we did it, and it was fun. I mean, it was fine. They were great guys, but it just didn't feel like it was like it was something that. I mean, it's pretty niche. Would, I think less people about. would listen to that than actually went and bought Booty Time. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it up as a regular Tom Steve Dave episode, people would listen to it. I don't think that. I don't know if they'd enjoy it though. No. Or should we just say who it was? No. No? I don't think so. Uh, what are your plans for it, though? If we, not, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll use it when you're sick or we can't get down or Brian's – well, I shouldn't say you're sick, but Brian's sick or yeah. you're too busy <laughs> traveling or the globe. Right. All right. This is a spoiler. It. it was you two that we interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we want to tease it. We don't let people know who it is. Like we want to like, – like, We want we, to, to, to listen. It, when we drop it, that people will be like, holy shit. Yeah. And they're like, holy shit, these guys didn't even want to air this? A uh, band of this magnitude? Now they're telling Rob Zombie that they that he can't even be on? These well, guys just, are big. I just don't know if Rob, I just don't know if it's not gonna be more of the same though. I mean, when somebody comes in and is good enough to do your podcast, right. it's hard not to just like Kiss his it's ass. hard it's, it's hard to be like, stop putting your wife in shit. Right. Like she's no good. Sure. I agree with that. You gotta be. You gotta be a good host. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Well, but I mean, you are saying that there's nothing to talk to Rob Zombie about except for his wife. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm, <laughs> I'm drawn to the negative. <laughs> but I'm sure the guy has a rich career. You enjoy his work. like Enjoy not, it very, very yeah. much. But then I'm like, but that's what I'm saying. So what, when he comes on then, it, it, just like in the interview we did, I found myself not being able to do any, like, it's just, it's just not. Yeah, like even the stuff we vibe. wanted to ask, you have to shoehorn it in very carefully. Yeah. Because you don't know these guys, you know, and they certainly don't know us. And you couldn't ask because, like, when we talked to Windorf and and other people, even with uh, the in betweeners guys, is we almost didn't touch upon their work at all, really. <laughs> like, and we just yeah, I mean, but like we know scenario. we know Dave, we know Ian, right? I don't think Rob Zombie's going to be able to work like. So, do you know any meth heads? <laughs> you, know, like, <laughs> you want to play one true three with Rob Zombie? Huh? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be good, yeah. But did he blow you guys off before? I thought, I thought we've talked about this. Yeah. No, he did not blow us off. He he, he just does the same thing that I do on a daily basis. Now, somebody comes in, you're like, <laughs> blow people off. <laughs> <laughs> the people come in and um, maybe they're expecting TV, Walt, <coughs> right? And they comic get, book charades playing Walt, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're kind of like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> TV wall. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm rude to them. I'm not all coked out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> all animated. Coked shit. out. This is going to reach. What do you want me to listen to? I just want you to hear how it sounds. It sounds like it's like crackly. I'm not sure if that's coming across. Um... It's probably all the food green. Well, food. Ah, what's that crunching noise? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel, I, I agree with you, Walt. I think if you talk about, if you talk to Rob Zombie, it's, it's going to be like, well, I like your music, um, your movies. Yeah, yeah, well you're, directed. You're, you're, visually, you're awesome. visually stunning. You're an, you're an awesome entertainer. I, 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 I will buy anything you put out, but I don't know if I want to talk to you for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> well, like I've heard him on Stern, and and basically that's like Stern will talk about. The song that they did together for Private Parts. Right. He'll talk about how hot Sherry Zombie is because, of course, she's there. Right. Um, and uh, that's about it. And when whatever there there is coming up next. Yeah, but isn't he a comic book? Doesn't he like comic books yeah, and stuff a, like that? He you does, could, but – Well, he hates his comics. No, no. I just don't know. All right. All right. He's on then. Right. I don't give a not shit not anymore. He's not. <laughs> Why? Because if, if his people listen to this. They won't. <laughs> I'm not even a super fan of him. I'm not really even a fan of his, so I don't care whether he's on or not. It's up to you guys. Okay. Who do you want on? Wu-Tang, probably? I don't think that they would be good for our show. They're very unfocused. Mm-hmm. Like, And we are? Not like us. No, but like at least we know where we're going or we can really? follow each other. The Wu-Tang's like, you, they'll just start saying things. They'll confuse everybody at the table. It won't, I don't think it'd be good. So it would be like if Mike was a part of Wu-Tang. <laughs> 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 Chuck Barris. I'd like to have Chuck Barris on. Yeah, you've mentioned that. You've said that that's yeah, your dream. That's my dream guy. He's in his eighties now. I don't. I don't even know if he's all there anymore. But you know, he's he's the one I'd like to to get on. Has he been seen publicly in the last couple of years? Not since. Uh, well, he put a book out two years ago. Oh, so, so he yeah. may still be have his. I think wits. so. I hope so. But we had a listener who had a connection to him, but it didn't fizzled out. It pan kind of didn't pan out. Yeah. What is it? I'm looking at Ming's, uh, <laughs> Ming's bullet points here. You brought something up earlier, Walt, where um, it, it says Mike and Ming in Miami, question mark. Right. Which Mike confirmed they're going. So, like, nobody is really. Is he, he's teasing that as if, like, I don't know. And if people are like, if they actually want to see him, it's like, well, if he doesn't know, then I'm not going to make arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got I got some. Remember I said that, like, people may be, like, disappointed when they come in a stash and they don't see coked up. Well, mm-hmm. I, I know I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> they, I've heard some disappointments at um, your guys' recent appearance at Asbury. <gasps> People were disappointed in us? Not in you. Oh, not me? Oh. Okay, not in good. Mike. Ooh. Ming had his nose in his computer playing fantasy baseball, it appears, that, and he didn't have time to uh, hobnob. Didn't have time. Whoa. Let's get him here, man. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me call this. And I, and I didn't. I, and you know, I know people would think like I jumped on that when the person said it, but I didn't say anything. I just wanted to confirm, and I actually got confirmation that that was indeed true. Wow. 
Who'd you get confirmation from? I won't say. Oh, you're not going to reveal it? Good investigative journalist. <laughs> got a blazer on. Yeah, this is, this is Pulitzer Prize winning <laughs> shit right here. <laughs> Ming. Ming, you disappointed three people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you come down for a second? You got time? All right. <laughs> Poor Ming right, doesn't know gonna, what he's walking into. We're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> The other I, one, the other, um, uh, wait, were you going to say something, Q? No, go keep going. The other bullet point I hear, uh, Monster Bill, Bry gets defensive. Bry got defensive? I don't know what that means. Lo- oh, because Kevin was saying that, by the way, this was a, such a fucking funny episode this week. With, oh, with it. I loved it. I loved it. I rewound him calling the Megatron guy racist <laughs> three <laughs> times and watched it. It was so great. The guy's world was, was very completely unhappy. rocked. Yeah, he's like, I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Walt don't see color. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, man. It is I, funny. It is, it's fun when like people – like the lawyer was the same way. Like they just don't get it. They don't know when they sit down exactly or when they come to the counter. I guess they're not prepared. Nobody tells them what to expect. Yeah, but they don't watch the show. <clears throat> I guess. Maybe uh, not. It was funny. But um, the Monster Bill thing, I, I, I saw repeatedly on Twitter that people were saying that Monster Bill didn't seem entertained by my barbs and jabs. But I don't think Monster Bill was entertained by anything. Well, uh, he appeared to be lobotomized. Out. Yeah, what, what got cut out was that he had like a, a triple bypass like a day before. Oh, okay. He did seem a little out there. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think they must have cut it out because I made a heart attack joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah. never made it. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny when when you said his house looks like his van. His house is his van. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> when in reality, Monster Bill has it better than me, probably. <laughs> Monster this? Bill. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually bo- bothered the um, the editor. He was like, "You guys say Monsterville probably a thousand times." <laughs> like I was like, "That purpose. was the point, though." Of course, <laughs> you guys have always done that for as long as I've known you two. You always tell stories with people's full full names. Like you never like, "Yeah, Tom." It's always like, "Oh, T- Tommy Jones said that," or you, know, or, you know, or you remember what's his name? You always say their full name. That's funny. <laughs> Monster Bill. <clears throat> Was he married? Did he hit a, hit a woman? Oh, gosh. I don't recall. I think he did have a wife, as I recall. <laughs> she was mummified in the back of the van. <laughs> <laughs> See, to me, like, you have a chance to talk to Monster Bill or Rob Zombie. Monster Bill all the way. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck I don't yeah. know why. I don't know why that's true, but it is true, isn't it? I think because Rob Zombie. Like, is too threatening, maybe? <laughs> He's just too intimidating. Who, Rob Zombie? Yeah. I, no, I think what, what happens is you're right. It's like you don't – you know certain things about Rob Zombie professionally. Personally, you probably don't care that much because it's like, oh, you're a rock star. Did you ever get laid? Um, go ahead, man. Say, hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, you're you're sure? good. Uh, you here. over to him. Uh, sounds good to me. Though. Yeah, okay. Um. I mean, if you were going to ask him anything, you could ask him, like, why, like, what's with the straight edge backstage stuff, you know, that we've heard right. from Dave. Um, but personally, it's like, I wouldn't even know what to ask Rob Zombie that I would really care that much about. And a monster bill. Right. Mm-hmm. Totally different story. Yeah. It's but like, like the rest of the world is just like, are you kidding me? Who the fuck <laughs> cares about this fucking broken down fucking <laughs> – Hobo fucking... Monster Bill, right? <laughs> you're like, they would be like, are you an idiot? You have a chance to uh, interview Rob Zombie and you're like, you want to interview some guy who fucking travels around in a broken down van? You're right, though. It's true. I would rather... Like, to me, he's fascinating because he's so real, you know? It's like somebody that you're just like... Compl- like, I'm not fascinated by Rob Zombie. Like, I like his music. I like the way he directs, but there's no level of like... Fascination, but with somebody like Monster Bill who does that, who we did see at the auction that day, um, I just imagine he has so many weird things to tell, you know? Oh, yeah. He worked in, I think he worked in sanitation too. Uh, so, you know, he so found, he found, found garbage. Shit, yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, Ming. Yes. There have been reports. What did I do now? That you didn't fulfill your duties at Asbury Comic Con. 
And it's also been confirmed. Actually. <laughs> Fades away. He knows. He already knows, right? Yeah. He already got, how did you know? Mike told me. <laughs> so you actually had people. So let's preface this. Or did you do it? Or did you preface this already? So yes. I was supposed to be at the table, you know, greeting, shaking hands, kissing babies. Instead, Brian, you would, Brian Quinn, you would uh, maybe understand him. Um, I was drafting fantasy baseball players. Sure. The draft is, Always it's a live draft. To do it. it was at noon on the day of the Comic-Con. So, um, yeah, apparently some people noticed I was more engaged in that than, than I was, uh, uh, you know. So you were doing it right at the table? Yeah. Okay. I thought you disappeared. <laughs> I didn't disappear. No, I was doing it at the table, but I was kind of like, yeah, hey. And I was like looking down, like, you know, well, watching I the mean, draft order. Can I uh, ask you, did you get, you didn't get paid for the Comic Con? No, right? I didn't. All right. No, so no, no, duties, no. You know. no, but it's disrespectful. I, but I, but when, I didn't know. I didn't walk away with that kind of lingering memory. Right. You know, it doesn't vote well for them. Not a touch. Uh, oh, TV pick. No, I, I, no, if people wanted a photo, I took the photo. I greeted them. Now, I might have been, may have been kind of a hurry, a hurried <laughs> greeting, but I didn't think anybody noticed until really? I hear yeah, this. No, so least, people came over. There are, uh, three people in three different occasions on Saturday came in. Wow. And I didn't like, and I didn't like. To Asshole. <laughs> you should have. Should have. It was, yeah, I, I, you know, I was torn. <laughs> you were torn. I was torn. I didn't think, uh, yeah, I was torn. Because, um, no, you weren't. All right. Well, obviously, I wasn't. Well, then. guess what, people? Now you know how my, uh, Ming's wife and kids feel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> why would you be special? <laughs> That's probably why he has the question mark after Mike and Ming and Miami, because yeah, they're not I sure if they're going to fucking. I've seen a lot anymore. of these bullet points now right. a couple weeks in a row, and it's always Mike I, and Ming and Miami with a question mark. What's with the question mark? I don't know. I, I can't remember. Oh, I think the question mark was whether Brian was coming or not. Okay, but it doesn't say Mike and Ming and Brian in Miami. It says Mike and Ming in Miami. Question. I mark. think Brian was the question mark, though. I guess I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember. Oh, when you I wrote these it. Though. I did write it, and you just wrote it today, right? No, that, those are left over. Those are you know we plug that every show. Okay. Oh, why you think like oh Mike Mike. Mike can't come in, or I'm not. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going like, to I'm wondering if that's the question big, mark. Like if that's your, you're, you're on the fence, or that's I'm your not. Plan. You know, I'm not you on the fence. Be ignoring you down in Miami. <laughs> now, what are your plans? Well, like you, okay. So with the three of us go. Yeah. In your mind, what happens once we get down there? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping we have time to chill out. I've never been down there. Like, mm-hmm. I want, you know, like um, Q and I have been there. Yeah, we, we went to Miami for a couple of days. Did you like hang out, or did you not leave the hotel? No, we left the hotel, but like we walked down to the beach. We went to get something to eat. We went shopping. Yeah, like all I ever hear about, are, you know, South Beach, South Beach, like you know, hot chicks and like you know, like what I seen like the Jennifer Lopez videos. Like that's mm-hmm. like I want to see like that. Will Smith. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Dude. It wasn't like that. No problem. No, not for us. But okay. Maybe, yeah. maybe now. I mean, your TV, dude. Yeah, man, maybe you know, like, dude, I got into Sea World for free, co, like last week, so. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You may be able to. Is it um, – he tries to get to the front of the line. He tries to pass the velvet rope and that's what he drops. That he's on comic, he's on comic book, man. I don't – I personally – I mean I'm not even fooling around. I don't think it has much clout in the in the club – clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably right. Yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's Ming and then it's has been John Goslin. Oh, it has been. Has been. I don't even think he's a has been. I still think that he would still get in, be able to get into some clubs. Maybe not in Miami. Not maybe not the top flight clubs. Uh-huh. But I still think he can get to the front of a line in a certain amount of clubs. So that guy and his freaking well, like Ed- a, a KFC. Or something, <laughs> no, if that's considered a club. That guy and his hair plugs and his Ed Hardy shirt yeah. over me. That's true, man. Ming has a great head of hair. He's he way stylish. Yeah, he has, uh, he way has, stylish. He doesn't but I didn't have, have like the, eight million viewers. I did that. Yeah, John Gosling he doesn't did. Have, and he also doesn't have the um, the the uh, the tabloid heat that he once had. Right. You got to do something. I think right? even Ming could go on like a mass killing spree, and I still wouldn't report it. <laughs> <laughs> it would like on the eighth page. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't have the. Um, that that uh, the charisma you need to get on this, the, the front of the store. Whoa. I'm not saying it in a bad way. <laughs> no, <laughs> saying it. no, there's good charisma, no charisma and bad charisma. He way. just. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even say John Gosling has any charisma, but he had that pull, and people Remember know that, who he is. I mean, even that, even that porno guy who fucking chopped off someone's head. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guy from Canada. Yeah. Even yes. he, like, even he uh, couldn't get on the front of the star. He yeah. chopped off a head and fucked that head. I think. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I hope his mom's not a listener. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying though. Did you see me and Brian made the paper? 
a couple of days ago. For it's what? insane. It looks like a little fisherman, a little Chinese fisherman <laughs> harpooned a <laughs> fucking me, whale. Yeah, let me show you the photo. Um, so <laughs> huge next to it's not. I'm oh, is that the con? Yeah, yeah. We, it was. He made the paper. Yeah. yeah. What me, paper is reporting this? The, the, the Star Ledger, man. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how big it's that the photo is. Newsletter. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is a gigantic coverage. For it this. is. Give me just two seconds. I'll be right back. It is. Here's Talk the. Uh, awesome we are, man. We are. Here's the. Uh, here's the article too. I don't know if you want to skim through this, but um, yeah, man, we're we're, we're trying. Look at the, from look at page it. to screen. I mean, that's like that's like half a page of of, it is. of coverage for you see the guys article? being at the uh, at the Asbury Park Comic Con. All right, Take it back. is got got a lot of print. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I, I I thought there was just an online. I was just I thought it was just online, but somebody somebody sent me that photo. I was like, whoa. So yeah. Well, all right. I take all it right, back. Yeah. <laughs> you, do, you do have the charisma to get. All you do is you have to carry newspaper clippings around with you. <laughs> yeah, just like should just like whip them out. They're all yellowed and taped up. Duck Dynasty guys, they have a better chance. They're getting on the on they, the front of the star. In, no, getting into the club. They've, sure. They got way more dress, viewers. Dress, they do. They got a lot of like ratings. They are though. Big ratings. A lot of people watch that show. <clears throat> I'm oh. sorry. Give me two seconds. All right, but. They uh, they're 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 following. I think you have the winning TV formula. Put rednecks on TV. Make sure they have some kind of personality. Next, if we get a season three, we got to hire a redneck. Okay, <laughs> right? <Thank you. laughs> rednecks are hot right now. Right, rednecks you, are super hot. Do you know any rednecks? Do I know any rednecks in Jersey? Yeah, in your own personal life. I told you know it's funny. Um, I told I I tried I tried to. Um, I tell my kids all the time that I I grew up as a redneck and I changed my I changed you know I kind of tried to refine myself. Right. I swear to God, this is true. And they look at me like, "What are you talking about?" And I go, "It was Grammy, as they call my mom, is not a redneck." And I go, "Yeah, I know, but she's tr- we both tried real hard." <laughs> I go now now that it's back in. I said, "I think I think now, of okay. course." You should go back. We should, I, I go, I don't know why we tried so hard to squash the redneck in us. And they're like, "What did you do? That was redneck." I said, "Well, yeah, we would just talk." We would just talk with accents, and we wouldn't wear we wouldn't wear socks, shoes. You would wear shoes. <laughs> so the way you refine yourself is you put on socks. You put on socks you and shoes. You get an accent. Yeah, you, I cannot tell you how many times. Like, when does they, it bother him? Yeah, it annoys, yeah. The, annoys the piss out of me. <laughs> it's because a, because they're like when they stop, like if we come across something that's on TV that's like redneckish on right. TV, and they're like changes. I don't watch those rednecks, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna watch it. Your daddy was a redneck, I said. <laughs> you coming down on that? <laughs> Don't you dare talk bad about redneck. like, rednecks right now are, are so – I mean, it really is true. Oh, yeah. Talk now, can, you, can you imagine putting on any other form of uh, – I don't want, I want to tiptoe around this, but ignorant, um, uneducated – Somewhat buffoonish people, other than rednecks, and having it fly as well. Jersey as Shore people. wasn't rednecks; they were Guidos. Okay, I think ignorant is the, was the key, right? Like, uh, well, the New Jersey could, Shore is Buck Wild, and that's all rednecks. That's like yep. they went down south. Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe even they realized it's. it's well, could you do it with any other? Could you do it in the hood? As um, that kind of like betraying people as such a um, no stu- stupid. That is, that is. They tried with that fucking with that wiener circle. Remember, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I got lambasted here on Tom. Only on, yeah. only on Tom Steve. Yeah. I got canceled. Did it get brought back? <clears throat> but did it get? Did it take? Oh some yeah, heat? people were calling it. People were calling it racist. A lot of people. But do you think that you think that's fair though? Well. It's fair to call it racist. I don't know because because you no, I don't think it is because you look at it that exists. Like you're not allowed to put a camera on it just because. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Is it fair that like you can you can put a camera on rednecks 24 right. seven and put them out there for the for the viewing public to ridicule and laugh at and like and just be like ah ha, 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 those right. dumbass rednecks I love it. <laughs> but if you were to put that same kind of uh, spin, but put it in a different like blacks. It ain't gonna fly, man. You talking it, it, about Buck Wild? No, I don't or even know what Buck, Buck Wild Dynasty? is. I'm just talking about like how rednecks have become like super, have become the go-to um, 
in terms of like uh, reality TV. Like let's laugh at the cliches yes. and stereotypes. Yeah. It's okay. Honey and you can laugh as hard as you want and you can show them to be as ignorant, ignorant as you want. But I yeah, don't If know. they were black and you were doing the same exact thing, they were like minstrel and shit. Yeah, I, I mean, so I wonder: is it is it is it fair though it, to um, to just pick on rednecks? I mean, it's why we did red. What was that game I came up with? What I was that remember, called? I can't remember the name. Red of it. Yeah, the Redneck Sixty Nine. The yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, silly Cow white crackers. Wash. White crackers. Yeah. <laughs> silly crackers. Silly crackers. Silly crackers. Because, <laughs> but based on the, based on one one person emailing and being like, "You piece of shit," because I said I was going to do <laughs> the um, Polish, the I Polish one, do, uh, p- Polish Russian roulette. Piece <laughs> 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 yeah, Somebody actually emailed my came used to account. It was yeah. just like, you, "You're a piece of shit," or whatever about me. Saying that I was gonna, I was gonna, I was trying out a new game called Polish Russian Roulette. <laughs> took some heat. Took some heat. <laughs> um, speaking of racist, I, I saw this thing in the uh, news the other day. Um, kid gets in trouble at school. Black kid, right? The office calls his mother. Come on down. He's been suspended. So the mom comes down, and I guess she's one of these heated types. Storms into the office. Smacks the kid across the fucking face, knocking him to the ground, right? Okay. Only then does she notice that's not her kid. It's some oh, other kid. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's some other kid waiting for the nurse. Um, I mean, wait, he was sick, so he's waiting for his mom to pick him up. The mom then sees her son, the one who got suspended, walks over there, fucking smacks him across the head. Um, school calls social services. That kid and three other kids are taken away. Oh, Taken good. away from her. Now – Traditionally, one of the things that's considered racist is that people aren't black, white people, whatever, um, are like th- – their problem is like, well, you know, you think we all look the same? Right. You can't tell us apart? I think this totally kills that argument. If his <laughs> own mother can't tell that it's her kid, <laughs> don't you think it diffuses that whole racist argument? We can just put it to bed now. Um, <laughs> so, okay, we we'll extend the Asian sure, argument as well. Let's put it, okay. So we're saying the stance on telling Steve Dave, just to be clear, is that all black people look alike. I, I mean, well, when you put it like that, maybe I need more work into my theory. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but you can say that because you're part black. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. You do have the freedom. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was me. Did you see that, that Buck Wild? Like speaking of hillbillies, that Buck Wild kid, uh, he was on an MTV show, which got good ratings, and it was going against you, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the kids died. He was twenty-one. That's what happens when you go against the practical jokers. Yeah, uh, he committed uh, suicide. Really? <laughs> like, oh, was, did he really? Yeah, he didn't he, commit suicide. He had he, a gun, in, a shotgun in his mouth, and there was a fucking loop of impractical jokers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait, I forgot about that detail. <laughs> No, How'd he no. die? That's all. He was um he he was like off roading, and uh, he drove his car into like a mud bog or something. Like the tailpipe went uncle. under the. Sounds very redneckish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like when, like I haven't been stuck in a mud bog lately. No, me either. Wait, um, so it blocked his pipe? Yeah, and I, I guess those, yeah. So the carbon no- the carbon dioxide poisoning. Oh, Killed all three God. of them. Yeah, I guess How was long was he t- in that fucking car? I don't know. I think it was like they went out at like three in the morning, so they were probably drunk. I fell asleep in the car or whatever. Impaired. I don't know. They left the car like, on. Mud bug. Let's go to sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I, it, it seemed like from what I read, it seemed like the mud went up to the windows, right? And so maybe they couldn't roll yeah. the windows down. Oh my God, that had to be. Pretty terrifying. awful. But, but you would think they would yeah. break the windows. They definitely have guns, right? So why not shoot a window? Shoot the window out. Oh, I think they're probably he's probably a young kid, right? Yeah, twenty one. That sucks, man. Yeah, that sucks. That is beating. Another girl got in trouble for drugs on that show. She was dealing in some sort of. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think I think what's the um, what would you say is the percentage of uh, TV use TV personalities who use drugs? It's got to be pretty high. Is why is that so shocking? Um, at this table, it's at least 25%. <laughs> 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 um, it, it's, it's really not shocking. Who use and abuse drugs on TV. They I mean, do it on TV or they not do Not on TV, but they do it all. Away from the watch. Yeah, so you're like, that girl got in trouble. She got with drugs. Why like, didn't like that should be like fucking. That. <laughs> <laughs> like that no, should no. be so shocking. It? What kind of print? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, it's just she got caught, I guess. I, she wasn't, you know, careful enough. Yeah. She wasn't slick. Do you, have a, uh, do you have a PA handling all your drugs? 
Yeah, we, we have specific <laughs> drug PAs that we send. Them. Like they have to hold them on set for him and shit. <laughs> Come here, asshole. I want to do some blow. <laughs> Off your back. Yeah. <laughs> Have you have you seen anything like that on set? Any uh, no shenanigans? Crazy? No, no. no, it hasn't gotten loony yet. No, why would Season it? Season two, well, I thought it gets loony and fucking well, crazy I mean, alcohol. alcohol I've been shit. drunk during why a we few. Season two, I've actually got, I saw some crazy. I was shit. clean. It actually got I less saw, loony. <laughs> I saw no, it got crazier. Season two is definitely crazy. What would you say? S- drama and fucking um, the, the drama was fucking ratcheted to fucking all time levels on season two for really? us. Yeah. Okay, again, twenty five percent of the people at this table. <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> Concerned for the drama? <laughs> what are you talking about? You uh, don't think the drama was ratcheted big time? Oh, of course. Tension so. was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that what I mean? That's what. So that's what. It, that's when people turn to drugs then. <laughs> yeah, they need a release. Coked up. <laughs> uh, to, I, I had a question. Do you feel like? Do you feel more stress? Not stress, but do you feel more what, pressure? Weight to be Ming from TV when people come in. It's really starting to wear on me. me no, I think I'm not. I, I don't think I'm that different, yeah, really. I, yeah, I guess not. Speaking uh, of TV stars, lots of stuff. I know. Whose iPhone is this? It's mine. Why? Oh, I thought it was Walt. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that'll be the day. That's when I know it's all over. That's when I know it's all over. Oh, I was damn. like, whoa, this guy's got a smartphone. We have the next 15 minutes coming. Go, oh, yeah. There it That's is. a there drug dealer phone. <laughs> Walt drew an apple on an old Motor Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna happen, Q. I thought I, I that's my whole you, world. You, you, shifted. You, you, you think that that I could be tainted. <laughs> right? I guess if I, I wish if I bought into you it. Feel a little I bit better about brought down, yeah, at my level. <laughs> well, you're wrong. <laughs> you guys gonna see Army of Darkness this weekend? You know? I want Evil to. Dead. Yeah. Army of, oh Evil Dead. Evil Dead, I'm sorry, right. Evil yeah, Dead. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. I people are I mean uh, People have that like, oh, it's sacred, the first one. Still there. Which I agree is awesome. Like one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Still wouldn't have Sam Raimi on the show though. <laughs> really? You want to have Raimi? We can ask him. Well, we can ask him a lot. We can ask him about the Spider-Man movies. We can ask him about the – But, you, but all that information's out there. It's out there. That's, that's the thing. Like when I hear people ask Kevin questions that I'm like, this is easily found on the internet. Like what are you asking this for? Yeah, but dummy. what is that? But that attitude doesn't help Kevin or his career. Like, I'm sure Kevin wants people asking him those questions to stay in the public eye, right? Relevant. Yeah, we have to keep Sam Raimi in the public eye. It's our responsibility. Because we like him. We do like him. Don't we like his movies? Um, Some of them. Yeah. I would say probably most of them I don't like. Like which ones? I liked Evil Dead. And I know a lot, lo- everyone loves Evil Dead too, but I'm just not a fan of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Army of Darkness, I watched half of. Oh, I love Army of Darkness. Um, oh, you know what I really like? Uh, that one with Bill Paxton and Bridget Fonda. Um, yeah. What's the fucking name of that one? Uh, that Simple Plan? Simple Plan. Oh, Simple Plan was really, really good. Yeah. yeah. Billy Bob was in that. Spider Man shit, I don't care about. Okay. Well, I guess not then. Sorry, Sam. Go You're not invited on the show either. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, you don't come on. I saw comics. Preemptively fucking tell everyone they can't come on. <laughs> uh, I also don't want to fuck Angelina Jolie, so that won't be happening either now. All right. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's all set. I mean, as long as we're talking about shit that's never going to happen, uh, like, that I can claim I'm responsible for. Um, Speaking of Kev, this uh, Neil Adams and Kevin Smith, are you guys going to that at the Apollo Theater? Wait, what? Ooh, the Apollo. Yes. Do you think they'll let me be like the honorary Sandman? I'll go out there and yeah. could sweep those bitches off the stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, what, something's going on with Groovy Movies playing in Manhattan. It is. You guys going? April 23rd. I'll be there, yes. I'll be there too. I got uh, Jordan, you guys Jordan are, texting me asking if I was going to yeah, come Yeah, you by. guys are all invited. I will not. No? No, I'm going to be at I the want. Uh, I want a wedding. ticket for Jeff. All right, I guess I need you for a ticket. You got it. Yes, sir. So These are my demands. <laughs> I want a six pack of Coca Cola, and I want a ticket for Sunday, Jeff. Yes, sir. Uh, how, are you running that the, the thing? I'm not running it. Okay, so you don't know what's going on that night. Is uh, it just uh, a movie in the Q and A? Yeah. Okay. It'll be a total of three hours of movie, and then uh, they podcast the Q and A afterwards. Nice. Very nice. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a fun night. Okay, where are you going to be? Able to see. 
When? For that day? April 23rd, yeah. yeah I'm going to be um, in San Francisco. My oh, right. Got married, so. It's kind of, it's actually like, he has to work during the week, so I have to get there the week. Q, you're going. We have to get there the weekend before. I got to book that, huh? Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then we have the entire week to wait until his um, wedding. Yeah. So you're just going to. Because you can't go out, you don't do your bachelor party the night before, right? No, traditionally, they, only in the movies. <laughs> only in the movies yeah, do they do that. The week before. Well, I'm going out for the bachelor party. That's the week before. Yeah. So, Are you only going out for the party? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to go to the wedding, but I can't. So I wanted to make something. You know. Um, how debauchery was it going to get? I anticipate <laughs> almost zero debauchery. Why? Because uh, he moved it from Vegas to you, San Francisco. I, I don't. I don't think. Your debauchery depends on what Darren's going to – I mean uh, Eric's going to do. you got to – gotta. Well, what break. is debauchery anyway? He's like? taking his cues from Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me you're going to a bachelor party and you don't plan on, on, on getting Sodom and Gomorrah on that shit? I mean I think within legal limits. I think the listeners – I think the listeners <laughs> – I'm going to fuck something. <laughs> I think the listeners are pretty fucking going to be disappointed to hear that Q is going to a bachelor party and then it, and it sounds know, like he's fucking what should happen? comatose. <laughs> what am I? And what the listeners' yeah. perception? Of what are the perception? listeners, guys? It's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go to bed. <laughs> All right, no cardigan. First off, no cardigan, <laughs> or just a cardigan. No, uh, nothing else on at all. <laughs> <laughs> cardigan in a semi. <laughs> I, know, I'm, I'm, I bought into the cardigans, bro. Man. Like I have one for every day of the week now. Um. M- Alcohol poisoning base <laughs> is a definite – Right. That's um, the starting point. You, you, there's definitely going to be stomach pump. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you have your and own with like you. Rod Stewart's. <laughs> <laughs> Sal has like a, like a backpack stomach pump. Right. <laughs> that, he, that he wears with him whenever he's no, out. Sal, that same yeah. fucking intern he's doing coke off of. Okay. Um, <laughs> You right. are you ever you have a, one of those hard hats on with that you know with the with, with the, the straws beers. but it's all Viagra pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like blue in the face trying to suck him through the straw. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking shit don't work. <laughs> it's like a foam dome with Viagra coming out of it. Intern asshole. Get over here. Make it hot. <laughs> um, you have – you've got a limo, one of those gaudy fucking – Right, with a hot tub in the SUV back. SUV limos, like, right. you know, with a hot tub in the back. Right. Um, and we're definitely hanging out the sunroof screaming and shit like, <laughs> fucking, like it's a bachelorette party. You have a Latino, you have a white, and you have uh, a black <laughs> prostitutes. All right, right. Of All course. the colors of the rainbow. And um, – <laughs> So 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 far nothing I've ever done before in my life. I'm suddenly at any bachelor party. Right, at any bachelor party ever, I'm suddenly gonna start doing as opposed to just telling the listeners that that's what happened. <laughs> See, I would think that, that that's your legend right now, is that you are an animal. Right. And if you go there and you're not, that's disappointing. To who? To the I think to the listeners. Well, we'll just tell them. I'll just come back and like oh, tell you're them. lie? Yeah, I'll lie. <laughs> That's what they expect of you. What they expect of me is that I'm probably gonna fuck a crack whore who dies halfway through. No, you don't no, you just talk to her. No yeah. one expects uh, you to fuck her. You're just Oh why, because like, of my fucking boner gel issue? No, 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 because of your <laughs> you like have your... a sip of my Viagra, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like let me get a hit. <laughs> You put it. You put it. You put all your Viagra. You has got your fucking pee on to fucking put all the Viagra into a fucking one of those. Um, what's that thing? Like a? It's it's like mixed milkshakes. Like a juicer. Or yeah. <laughs> this is a blue milkshake. <laughs> anyone has like OD on Viagra? Like, is that possible to like take too much? Yeah, I sure, I think so. I'm gonna look up like um, Viagra, Viagra overdose. Overdose see what's going death on there in that in that world. The. Um, I mean, the only thing I, I really wanted to do while I was out there was go, what is it, the O'Farrell Brothers Theater? Um, yeah, is that what it's O'Farrell called? O'Farrell or Mitchell Brothers. I think, yeah, Whatever so. Hunter S. Thompson ran for a while, he was the night manager there. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to go see that. Other than that, I don't care what we do. It's a porno theater, right? It is, but I don't think it's... Uh, it is anymore? I think it's like a Disneyfied version of it okay. now. Oh, know, right. Okay, yeah. it got corporate. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. I, and I don't even give a shit about the porno. I just want to see because Thompson ran it, right. so I want to go check it out. I think there's like pictures of them, maybe old pictures. I hope so. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is not the itinerary I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's like he's going to a museum. <laughs> Get those fucking tits out of the way. Hunter Thompson's on the wall. <laughs> I'm old, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't it you feel it? Sounds like it. Don't yeah. you feel it? Like you just don't have that that same like drive. To, yeah, the fire. To, where is it? It's gone, and bro. I've seen it. We we both had it. Like we've been in places where. I think I think that it's. Watch your lips. Yeah, a okay. little, little, really little kid here. You know, I think that that's something that'll still. You know what I was talking about the other day was uh, Fantasy Fest, and it got me excited about yeah. it, even though it was a complete dud. Remember last the time bus last time? Like last time, we literally left a wet T-shirt contest to go watch the new episode of Always Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we're at. You're not the wild men. That, uh... <laughs> see, that's why, like it's good. You see, like I never come down, and I never have to feel like like man, I lost something. I, I don't have that. I don't. Have, I can't get around that fastball anymore. It's the middling uh, life right? for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I never, I never had that drop off because I never uh, had that kind of. Um, um, I never had that kind of like uh, energy, mm. right? Never had that desire. Yeah, I've gone to I've gone to <laughs> two wet good. t-shirt contests. Both of what like went horribly wrong. The first one I was with Moj in um, New Zealand, oh, and I it was the this. tiniest little bar. Um, and uh, so I was like, dude, we've never I've never gone to a wet t-shirt contest. And he's like, he's like you. He's he's like, I don't really care. And he actually spent most of it in the – like there was a back area that was outside. And the he was ta- talking to some – yeah, he was in the toilet blowing it <laughs> You need relief? <laughs> oh, so this is why you don't care. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, what's that paper bag for? <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> um, no, so I, I was – it was packed with fucking drunk ass fucking Kiwis. And um, actually, no, I'm sorry. It was in Australia. It wasn't New Zealand. It was a really little town. And um, so the girls are up there and the host is wearing like a huge like 80s metal mullet wig. And um, – they're doing the they're doing the wet t-shirt contest and then at a certain point you know like they always turn into like girls tearing their tops off and right. shit but this wasn't this wasn't this kind of of contest and um the they were trying to get this one girl who she was attractive she had like um a, a jean jacket she took a jean jacket off she had her T-shirt underneath. What was it, 1984? And, um, yeah, it, Motley Crue was painted on the back. <laughs> um, and um, the somebody, uh, they were like, take it off, take it off, you know, and she didn't want to, obviously. And the host, like, starts tearing, like, pulling her oh, shirt. God. Like, it was, I was like, whoa. <laughs> this, is, yeah. Yeah, this is gone. Like, Mimosa had the right idea. This is going south. And she was, like, laughing, but, like, laughing in that way where it's like, ha, stop. Right. And um, eventually somebody, like this really big fucking uh, Maori dude fucking put a stop to it, like an indigenous type guy. Um, his girl, awesome, his girlfriend ended up winning, actually, uh, <laughs> the wet t-shirt contest. They're, they're tough. They're tough people, those Aussies, man. Yeah. No. Fuck with Aussie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the second one was the one that we went to. And Great. The, there was a – Do you remember the best part of it? Was oh, that, there was that someone got a fight, tranny, right? A tranny got into a – two yeah. trannies got into a fight. <laughs> They were like, um, like uh, debasing each other and, and saying, you know, like making remarks about each other's uh, uh, like approximation of what right. a woman should look like. I guess. That was the and then they just start swinging and clawing, and a whole it all like clears out, and security comes over, and they're like kicking their heels or flying off. And shit. Other than that, I mean, there was some girls there with <clears throat> some nice tits, but like you're just like, all right, yeah, it's I don't know what it is. Yeah. Hey, was, whatever. Yeah, and at a certain point, we were like the new Always Sunny's on, so. <laughs> Let's go. You think you maybe want to borrow Bryce gel? No, I don't have a problem. Because uh, here's, here's what you it guys is. rub each other up? It's, it's, I, think, I think what we're <laughs> Put a free bachelor <laughs> party rub yeah. together. the back rubs. Yeah, sorry, all right, my turn, my turn. No, I, I think what it is, Walt, is, is like, the, you know, the design is still see that stuff and take part in it's there. What has gone down is the the – Ability to wade through the bullshit that you have right, to right. to be part of it. I just don't even. I, that's it's not worth it anymore. You know. But what if you were to be? If you were to just step into it, like somebody else set it all up and be like, "You get down here. Great, this great is stuff. going on right now." Yeah, yeah that's the stash. That right up. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's you at the stash. You've been coked up. <laughs> yeah. 
But like, I just I don't want to stand in a crowd. Like, even with that wet T-shirt concert that we had, to me it's just like it's too crowded, it's too hot. Like, I just don't want to be around that many people anymore. So, and that was pre Jokers, so you can imagine now. Now, yeah, people would bother you, right? Yeah, you're probably still. I safe, thought man. you had enough. <laughs> I thought you had the, uh, enough mojo to get it just at your house. To get these kind of like. T-shirt contest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not looking at the reality. Then I got to clean up, Mister Whiskers. <laughs> 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 fucking undershirt. I'm gonna uh, lose you. It's not me anymore. It's, it's not, not me. you. Oh man. No. All you're doing is building his legend that never existed <laughs> just to shoot it down. As if you've been a, now you're a failure. <laughs> not a failure, but you know, I guess I guess everybody everybody has their um, their peaks. Mm-hmm. You know, and we, we, in, uh, not their peaks, but they're, they're at the top of their game. Not at the top. What's the word? Like when you're at your. Yeah, the pinnacle. The, 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 pinnacle. The, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. My partying days, pinnacles yeah. are behind me. That's all right. That's all right. You still got one or two, like, major blowouts in you. Uh, absolutely, bro. One will, well, the last one will probably be in your death, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, his lungs blow out. <laughs> his liver explodes. Yeah. <laughs> We watch him suffocate to death. That's the way he would have wanted to go. I dream of drowning in my own fluids. Uh, What about you, Ming? Do you have any big blowouts? I got to run. You got to go? That's all I got today. Wow, 12.45. Well, I got here on time. Brian showed up 45 minutes late. Yeah, that was my fault. So I got to go. We were shooting a Fiat commercial. Oh, you and Jennifer Lopez, huh? Yeah, I'm Jenny from the block. All right. You got any, any... Any cars as a deal? Or you, We're going to see. I'm going to get boots on the ground. I'm going to see what I can do. A Let Fiat. That I, I'm in the market for a free car. Okay. <laughs> All right, two Fiat. You're in the market for even – he'll take a pen. Yeah. He'll yeah. take a fucking a <laughs> visor Any from the – Any promotional yeah. items Fiat may have laying around. <laughs> the Fiat Fire. T-shirt. It's double XL Fiat T-shirt. <laughs> well, he'll take that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank I'll you, call Fiat. you guys tonight. All right. Uh, Thank you. Tell them, Steve Dave audience. I'll see you guys next week. 100,000 of you. Yep. There you go. Throw some back for me this weekend. You need, it looks like you need to. Uh, He's unwind a little? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to Atlantic City on Saturday. Oh, there you go. Oh, there there you go. Go. Is it going to get crazy? <clears throat> I go to Atlantic City on Saturday. Sunday morning, I fly out to Los Angeles for two days. So I'll. I'll... What's, what's, the, what's the itinerary for Atlantic City? Yeah, are we talking one Asian, we one black, one white? One white. took a shit there once. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it's going to get like it's off the, the wall, it's bounce. The oh, yeah. yeah. Who else is going? I live vicariously through you, Q. <laughs> this is why I'm so disappointed with. Why not me? <laughs> <laughs> Any listener knows why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. I'll see you guys next week. All right. No, are your uh, are your wildest days behind you? No, I don't think so. Killer yeah. hooker for us, Q. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> make, no hookers. Make her suffer. <laughs> Uh, remember, take all, grip all our teeth out, and chop our hands off. Jesus yeah. Christ! Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, if you don't want to get caught, uh, yeah, that's right. Addition to the souvenir right. that you keep. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. A video. No. Okay. Uh, you just gotta, you, you just gotta uh, get in there and rel- get, you know, start living in. Yeah, the now. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, you're gonna disappoint Walt here. Yeah. Poor Walt here, you're gonna disappoint him. <laughs> you know, you, you don't want a female gender bender, whatever it is that that you can get your hands on. You dude, if, if, it, if it is a dude, that's even a better story. All right, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Drop his wiener off. <laughs> Put it around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see it come back like you were in Vietnam? A necklace full of wieners. <laughs> God. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do that. Um, so your your wildest night is what, what's your wildest night so far? So far, yeah. I don't. I, like, what would you say is, is the apex of I mean, anything like super wild? I mean, you know, like I like to have fun. You know, I like to mm-hmm. hang out. You know, stay out late, but nothing, nothing. Back, super back in the crazy. day when, when I was, uh, I think my wildest night was uh, that you you had uh, remember you had that uh, pajama pajama party at your oh, house. The pajama once. jammy jam. Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. We had that. I don't think it came to the other one where um, or you may have been there. I don't remember. Where um, we were playing spin the bottle, no. and drinking. And oh, yeah, you saw some us. Mm-hmm. You saw some stuff that day. That I kept night. landing on dudes. It sucked. Um, it sucked, or you sucked. No, nah, I had to. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, spin the, the bottle. The bottle is my master. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Um, Wait, how old were you guys? 
At that point, I must have been like 36, 37, you somewhere Spin in the there. Bo- hey, yeah. Yeah, it's never too old. I never really played Spin the Bottle when I was young. No, me either. You know, I never had those um, – and, and it was the time too, right? People are having experiences like yeah. oh, spin the bottle and seven minutes in heaven, yeah. and post office and all that other shit. What is post office anyway? Oh, actually, I was looking up Viagra overdoses. It appears that the guy from, let's see here, um, emo band Tokyo Hotel. They all look like girls. What happens when you pop too many? Let's check Google. Mm, there's I why is a twenty year old up? taking it? Onset of symptoms. Oh, uh, why? That's that's the time when you experiment with drugs, man. Why not? The next morning, really, I thought it was like forty-two. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Um, in my day, take a two-break day from touring because oh, he said the next morning my head was pounding, everything in front of my eyes was blurry. It wasn't fun anymore. It was pretty bad. Any guy who resorts to taking Viagra for fun is probably a prolific recreational drug user. I had these you- drugs have nitrates, and it can cause your blood pressure to drop. Get dizzy, faint, or even have a heart attack or stroke. Whoa. Do you ever read that article? Affleck said he took it. Like, that was, this is 10 years ago. He said it in a Playboy interview, and then he took it back later. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. You no, retracted I was, it? Yeah, you retracted it. Come on. Really? Yeah. This is like 10, 12, 13 years ago. Huh. It says here, a mad Russian took a bet. A few women bet the guy for $5,000 he couldn't have sex with him for 12 hours. He did, but after winning, he died of a heart attack. <laughs> so do, you think a, do you think that's true? No. Yeah, that sounds made up. It's from the UK Sun. And yeah. It seems a lot of shit from there is yeah. uh, dubious, dubious at best. Yeah. Um, Walt, fuck that. What's your wildest night on record? <laughs> Would it be back in your teens probably? Early 20s? I'm, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I imagined. Maybe, probably. You don't miss it. I right? don't need. I, not at all, man. There's one thing I look back on. I, I was helping my mom out last night, clearing out her attic. Um, she was badly hit by the storm, and she needed to clear out her attic for the heating unit that's going up there. And I'm in her house, and it looks so tiny, and so um, like I can't imagine that. Like we all grew up in this little tiny house. Not that my house now is big, but it's a no, it's lot, a decent size. Yeah, but it's it's not. It's, it's more uh, than a floor. Yeah, it, 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 there's a little bit more room, like to go in another room and not, and, you know, you can like have your own little space at least in my house. Yeah, right like now. you look back and you're like, I had zero privacy. Like unless you were in your room and shut the door. Yeah, and, and the rooms in these houses downtown, like they're they're not that big because they were designed to be summer homes, right? And then people just moved into and it, it. Like and it looks so small now, stripped down because she's she's uh, getting just everything getting done right 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 around now, and. um and you think back, and you and on one hand you think like, oh man, I w- I'd love to go back to certain times. It was so f- great back then. then. I'm like, man, if that's what comes along with it, I don't want. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to like live in this tiny house again. No. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I don't know what I would want to do. Like, if you can go back in time, I don't know if I'd go back in time now after being there last night. Yeah, because everything has to go along with it, right? Yeah. What about you? Did you grow up in a little house? No, it was pretty. It was just. It was decent size. I had no problem with the size. It was good. I, I yeah, no complaints. Would I? Would I go back? No, I don't think I'd go back. Well, I don't want to stay. Go back. But I'm mean, just to go back for even for a little while. I don't think. I think it's not all cracked up. Like I think a lot of a lot of people um, romanticize. Oh sure. And uh, their youth. But the, yeah, but reality was is that it probably wasn't all that great well at the time you hated it and you just couldn't wait to get out of there exactly yeah so i think that like we spend our whole lives wanting wishing for something different instead of just enjoying for what we have like i wish i wish i was growing up i wish i was out of here then you get what then you get that oh i wish i can go back to the carefree days of youth Mm -hmm. stop fucking poppers yeah stop living (laughs) in in the future of the past live Live in the present yeah man what's wrong with you yeah it's my (laughs) fear he lives in it now more than anybody such an asshole (laughs) (laughs) fantasy baseball shit well okay that notwithstanding but (laughs) is is that um is that goofy fantasy baseball it is we've we've uh, i think we talked about some puck nuts like yeah you're you're on the you're yeah i'm not a big fan of i was in that that i was in that camp too i was like this is stupid who want you know go out and play real baseball but then i i remember i was playing in a league and i'm watching the most meaningless game but i had a couple players on there and i'm on the edge of my seat (laughs) and it just made it more exciting but but it doesn't take away from the um 
the the, the the what is the core essence of a, of a game, a winner and a loser. Yes. Now it's not. Doesn't matter who wins or loses. It's who's like your team. Your team can get. You could root against your team. You now could. Because your <laughs> yeah, fantasy you could team, because uh, uh, yeah, you could. Exist. Sure. <laughs> right. It's, Sure, like but anybody you win money if you, you win, win money, yeah. yeah. It's I mean, all about a lot money. of people are into it, and I've met people who are who are obsessed with it. Yeah, and, it's, um, it's a big industry now. How much time do you devote to your fantasy baseball team? <sighs> I uh, more, a lot, truthfully. <laughs> Uh, there's not like software that could just no, but you gotta you know you, you you gotta pay attention on the games and then you know you make trades or you pick right, up so free how much, agents. So how so much would you a week? conservatively? How much do you six control? hours? Oh, that's not that as much as no, but I mean so. probably more is that you know I'll tune into some meetings game that I would have never even cared about before, right? Um, and then you know I'll stay, well, yeah, it's like, probably more than that. happy. Yeah, baseball's because happy. People are tu- tuning into games that you know they normally sure. wouldn't have had an interest in. Do they only do it with baseball, or is oh, it, they do it every sport? Do they? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's an industry now. You got, you have whole like radio stations devoted to it, magazines. Uh, you yeah. know, I mean, if you want to go even further, you can it's, go to Vegas it's and do stat it. Crazy. That shit sounds corny. Man. <laughs> I mean, honestly, um, hey, you know what? I was just looking at my emails because I have to pull something up. But um, my name was like you know you know when they print names in the paper like hey you have money waiting for you oh yeah yeah um, there's like a whole section in the state has it my name was in there. Yeah, yeah two money? different people told me. I don't know. I had to email. I thought it might have been one of those things where they're like, "You've won this," and like you go yeah. pick it up. Like, oh, yeah. like put them up against the wall. Like we heard you talking about those pills. <laughs> free bike. Um, yeah, free bike. <laughs> 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 nice reference. Um, but uh, yeah, they said it could take like up to eight weeks to. Um, Is it really you? It yeah, says yeah, your it money. Me. Okay, because yeah, I had my old address. I'm assuming it's like a deposit for the gas company or something. You know, like there's no way with my luck. There's no way, like, oh, you got fucking nine hundred thousand dollars. There was no you. amount listed. It's like sixty bucks. Nah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you never... it's like it. Um, it, it, like when you put it into the website, it will tell you what it is or not tell you. Yeah. It's, it was like not. And yours was or not. Of course. So. That might be big. Yeah, it could maybe. be like so big that they couldn't put it. it. <laughs> Come on. I mean, let's let's get real. It's probably like a fine. Like I owe money mm. for like a fine that I didn't pay or something. I'm looking up. God damn it, man. We had a commercial to do, and I can't even find the fucking thing. Here. Another commercial? Yeah. Ting.com. Ting. 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 This yeah. is that phone company, right? Mm-hmm. Ting.com. Part of the Two Cows Network, along with uh, your other Hover? advertiser, Hover. Yes. Are you? Uh, did you join up to Ting? No. I, I haven't. Did. You did? Yeah. I'm so happy with the service. Really? Yeah. I really did. I, I mean, I can see the savings coming through already. <laughs> all right, and you're all about savings. So if you want to save money, ting.com. There is a calculator, though, um, that you can use. And she did send me the fucking link to the commercial. She's like, watch this, jerk. Where is it? I don't understand. Like, You know, there's a little search the bar up top there that you can use. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Where is I, I f- Okay, here it is. Let's see. Here she is. Okay, here's that YouTube. Um, the ad is at 0.25. So let's see here. Oh, it's a nine-minute video. Kapuya Kapuya still less embarrassing than man with face tattoos. That's on YouTube. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means, really. Uh, let's see here. It's a very slow connection, man. What's going on? Oh, it's plugged in. Here we go. Right, let's see. Here. Franco shirt after, I don't even know how many months has it been I don't know who this guy is. We had a lot of views, though. 445,000 views. Really? All right, I don't like this guy. He's annoying. Um, I guess that's how they want us to do it, though. So go ahead, Ming. Ming.com. Ting.com. Do you have any cousins named Ting? No, I don't. No. Ting.com. So what is this? Is a pay-as-you-go cell phone service, and they have cool phones. You can get you know. Basically, I wish I could tell you more, but I can't find the fucking... Uh, it's like Galaxy S3 is, is, uh, is, is nothing to sneeze at. No. They have so, a calculator. It's like ting.com slash calculator. And what you do is you go and you put your your fucking information yeah. in there, and then they'll tell you how much you're going to save. 
Yeah, the cell phones are expensive. I didn't know they had. I didn't, I didn't know you get a smartphone on a pay-as-you-go plan. So yeah. that's what this is. Yeah, you sure can, man. Wow, this is a fucking really lousy commercial. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any of the fucking information. But all, you know, all you need to know is Walt's happy. Walt's happy with it. So if Walt's happy, you're going to be happy. Since it's the same people that do hover, they're like they're empowered and they answer your phone call right away and all that. Yeah, no upselling. You know yeah, no upselling. Um, Real life no customer contracts. service, no there's contracts, pay as you go. All that fucking shit, man. What else do you need to know? <laughs> Ting.com. Yeah, Ting.com slash T E S D. Oh, you got a code. You got a code. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ting.com I mean, slash T E S D. You know what? Even if you don't, even if you don't use the service, even if you don't switch over, just go over there and fucking check it out. See if you can get some savings. If you're Sprint, like if you're Sprint, you can just go over. Because they like re- they're a sprint reseller or something. Oh, okay. So no penalties, no fees, nothing like that. Penalties and fees, man. Come on, you're talking about Ting.com here. That's just fucking silly. Hold on, I got my little notebook here. There's got to be. They really should shouldn't even have to pay for this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't say that. I mean, they shouldn't have to. But they're gonna have to. Let's see here. Not get, oh, here we go. It's not get hasty here. No overage. Pay for what you use. It's only Android then, thing. So, oh, okay. Let's over with your. Fucking that's fine. I'll get an, phone. I'll get another phone then. Yeah, just throw that one in the garbage. That's the thing, Walt. You could go over. He can't. Yeah. Why? Ming's stuck. Why? Because he has an iPhone, and then I'll oh, turn the Oh, okay. Um. um it's great. T- oh, it's tesd.ting.com. $25. Oh, off even better. Device or $25 credit. No contract, no early termination fee. Pay for what you use. Everybody's empowered. Philip DeFranco, Sarah. These are all things I wrote down. Um, and then it goes into notes about other shit. We drew its blood and gave the world the disease. I don't know what that means. Yeah, okay. That's some so ting, right there, man. TESD.ting.com. Mobile phone service that makes sense. Is that their slogan? Yes. Oh. I had a great slogan for uh, Evolution Cycles, Walt. I don't think they're going to use Revolution. It. Revolution. Oh, Revolution? <laughs> revolution. Yeah, I meant Revolution. <laughs> I didn't uh, Mom, this one's already done. You don't care about it, Walt? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I know. What, what happened, man? Your, your energy level is uh, bottomed out. So, you know, let's Ever talk about, like, scattered brain. We talk about pulling teeth and... <laughs> hey, that was my... That was... I, I shot it out. That was... Yeah, that was... I should have told Steve <laughs> Dave right then, but... but then, uh... I got all amped up, then and then... we had to do that commercial. So, great rates, no overage penalties, credits on light months, multiple... Mul- this, is, this is the big one. Multiple devices on one plan. I think it's, like, $6 per... Thing or whatever. No fees or limits on usage. Yeah, I'm gonna get another phone, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go test the an- the Android uh, the Android the secret market. Phone. The secret phone. Yeah, and nobody knows. The, yeah, you yeah. Know. <laughs> what would you? <laughs> Where would you? What kind of secret calls would you make? Uh, you know, well, why, why, if I told you <laughs> no, it wouldn't be a ahead. secret yeah, anymore, yeah, I told I you guys it wouldn't be a secret you're, anymore. You're gonna make secret phone calls? I don't Did know. You ever have two cell phones? No. Better not, man. No, I see wouldn't you. you be mad at, wouldn't you be mad at him if he hurt Debbie, uh, Debbie Chen's feelings? I think, I think, I think you guys would be. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be disappointed. Be outraged. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't care? Start throwing stuff I'd around. Be, I, I would, you wouldn't I'd, think less I'd of I'd me? turn him into a eunuch. <laughs> oh, <we castrate> him? <laughs> Just hold me down with a I'm down. pair of pliers. I, and, I could get behind that. <sighs> and you'd, you'd thank us later for doing it. Yeah, I'm like yeah, you guys were right. Yeah, it's like, you guys were right to do that. <laughs> no, you can't even bang your wife if she were to happen to forgive you. Yeah, <laughs> this um, thing that comes perfect guys, for you. For, you know, for turning me into a eunuch. He's, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like all bloated and shit. <laughs> Why am I bloated? Because isn't that what happens? Like when you get castrated, like you're all fucking bloated you really? and shit and fat. Yeah. No, uh, oh god, no. You know, I, I would use I'd use one of the shore mics just to like make it even more meaningful. I'd cast you, you with a shore mic. You would like smash it to bits. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> all right, man. put him up here. Where, this is where it all went downhill for you when you got behind this mic. Yeah, so you I mean, lay him on the poker table, uh, yeah. and then Walt's gonna smash him apart so with freaking, a freaking shore mic. <laughs> you guys have like saran wrappers, like freaking Dexter. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! What's going on? Oh, what's going on, guys? <laughs> what are we doing? Get on the slab and pay the piper. Yeah, you hurt Debbie's feelings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn you, Ting.com. <laughs> <laughs> Ting has nothing to do with it. 
The, <laughs> it's not, they got me the well, second time. Yeah. yeah, it was only $6 for that extra phone. Yeah, <laughs> TESD.ting.com, damn you. Yeah. Uh, so he got it and he started taking phone That's what good friends me. do, though, man. Yeah, they you know they they show they, you the right they, they put you back they, on the right yeah, path. Yeah, they put, slap you right back into reality. <laughs> yeah, man, like I was on pills and shit. Kevin toss Kevin and Walt and Q tossed me into rehab. Yeah, straightened out. Yeah, look at you now. This is your rehab. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and we and we know you won't fall off the horse again. No, because there's no. I mean, it's yeah, impossible. Like, like I'm a wild card. I, at any moment, I could fall. But with you, it's like we're 100 percent sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we castrate him, you yeah, know, there's little. No, no, you'll there's have no interest. No going back. Mm-hmm. You know, it'll be all be about fantasy baseball. <laughs> trying to fit through doors. <laughs> um, and somebody asked a, a question the other day when we were doing – we went to the Asbury Park Comic Con, of which I was not doing any fantasy baseball shit I was talking to. No, you were. You were uh, very engaged. Glad hand, man, pressing the flesh and shit. You were. And uh, somebody asked the question at the um, – Panel. At the panel, they're like, uh, what's your comic book fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has one. Which was really – because I thought it was so general like and corny sounding. Like even this – I said even the song Rock and Roll Fantasy sounds gay. So yeah. comic book oh, fantasy no, no, is no. twice like as queer. Every, everybody who's ever read a comic book has a comic book fantasy. Some may, may involve more outlandish fantasies than others. Some may be grounded in reality like owning every comic book ever published, which is mine. Mm-hmm. That's uh, your fantasy? That's my fantasy. Every comic book ever Ever, published. Every comic book, every published, categorized, alphabetized. Even the Danzig ones with incest and shit? Everything. Even the the, (laughs) the gold key Disney's. Uh, Wow. With Uncle Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge McDuck. All right, just to have them. I'm getting all sweaty even thinking about my fantasy. (laughs) Sweaty between the thighs. (laughs) (laughs) Chafed. I think Mike, Mike was like, I'd stop an asteroid from hitting the earth, I think. Yeah, that's about that's about what I expect him to say when somebody asks a question like that. I just yeah. want to know what I this would dude need to be like. Be responsible for the asteroid coming towards Earth. What does that have to do? With, that what, could be a bad what, guy, right? How's that a comic book fantasy, though? I guess he's a superhero and he's stopping an asteroid saving the world. What was yours? It's a fantasy? Uh, I don't. Know, I think I told the dude I want to hang out with Batman or something. Like he, he'd been. So he'd, you, didn't, you didn't give him much thought then, did you? No. Well, it was. A, I mean, it's a he, panel. You have to think well, about I, it, like on the spot. Well, no, he had followed me around before that panel. And he asked me that beforehand, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah all that he really wanted to know. <laughs> it, well, no, he videotaped it and everything. So I'm like, what is this guy doing I'm with sure, this? I'm sure. Maybe it was like, weird. There's no way he's going to ask me again, so I'll just, <laughs> yeah. I'll just forget about it. it was, no, it was weird. I just wanted to know what he was going to do with all this, all this footage. Maybe it's his comic book fantasy. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he's writing his own comic. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that comic that uh, we, we read in San Diego? It was about Kevin, and it was so weird, man. Like... It was about these two guys that I guess they kidnapped Kev and kept him in a room. But like, why? Why? What was their purpose? They wanted him to write a script, script for them, so they could direct it and make yeah. a movie. Yeah. But the first like ten pages are like so derogatory towards Kev. Yes, like, it's, it's I remember that. Bizarre. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. They actually got that published. I, they, I saw a copy of it. Yeah, I said yeah. I saw. A, was it self published or yeah, Marvel published? No, uh, self published. <laughs> yeah, all read to do the cover to that too. Or did? I mean, is he that bored? <laughs> well, well, that not bored, but they may, you, but they may nah. point up. What yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 pay enough. Does Allred do anything these days? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's FF. He's involved with that eye zombie. Mm-hmm. FF. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it was it was actually a, a pretty big con. I was surprised at how many people were there. I'm glad he showed up. They're, they're still uh, – up until you texted me, they're like, he's not coming. He's not coming. I'm like, why? He said he was coming. He told me last – Rob said that? Rob Bruce? Uh, Rob, Mike. <laughs> nah. If he, I say I'm going to do it, then I'll do it. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm glad you did. We got to talk about a couple other things. Ming. Don't even tell me another commercial. No, no more commercials. Well, uh-huh. in a way, it's a commercial. Um, groovy movie. Yes. In Manhattan, there's tickets available. Yes, so April 23rd. See smod.com slash groovy movie. Yes. Um, but, uh, and uh, even more importantly. Even more, way more important. Yeah, tuck that money away you were just about to spend. Why, Bri? STL, bitch. At the Duck Room at Blueberry Hill in St. Louis, Missouri. Blueberry Hill? That's a real That's place. Yeah. Your thrills. Wow. There's a Blueberry Hill in New Jersey. I remember being really young and going camping there. And um, I mean, probably like seven. 
and that was back when Edgar and Pam were all into church and shit. So it was like church people, and like even when we camped, like on Sunday, we would have to find a nearby church to go to. Yeah, yeah, if, you, if you happen to sing this song, Blueberry Hill, they, they smacked you. Yeah, it was, they, too, it was they, too risky. They, for yeah, they a smashed door. my balls with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where, when is this? Oh, this is Saturday, May 18th. Where's Blueberry Hill at? Uh, St. Louis, Missouri. I've never been there. I think that's a good place. We have. I think it's a fun house. A we fun drove place. through it. Did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they, they have the arch there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been there. I mean, I've been through there. They go on sale tomorrow, man, at 11 o'clock, which is actually today. So if you live in St. Louis and you live near the Duck Room at Blueberry Hill, what a name for a club. The duck, duck room? room. The duck room the at Blueberry duck room. Hill. Let me tell you something. I'll have taken so much fucking Andrew gel by that point. That duck room. Oh, you're going to be all teed up. Duck room, son. <laughs> That's, That's right. Um, yeah, May 18th, 2013. Whoa, late show, 1130. Yeah, so. it's it's after. There's a groovy movie showing that night. And then okay. if you're going to that, might as well cut over to the duck room mm-hmm. at Blueberry Hill. Check yeah, out Why Bry. What else are you doing? 11.30 on a – what? Day? it's on a Saturday, so I don't want to hear any nonsense like you hear from uh, – Yeah. Even though Orlando is good to us, man. Sold, Sold out, out, man. On a Tuesday night. What, what more can you ask for, right? Yeah. Um, and then – I'm not supposed to say this technically, but um, I think there's a Chicago Groovy movie. Yes, there is. I'm just saying, if that Chicago Groovy movie sells out, there would be a reason for me to go up there. Maybe do a show. Yeah, but, you know, maybe well, do might, a library. might as well. Not that far from St. Louis either. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, if, if uh, you good Chicagoans, what are they called? What are the Chicagoans? Uh, yeah, I, I guess Windy City. Windy I don't know Ch- Ch- Chicago. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just saying that if Groovy Movie in Chicago sells out, I'll come up and visit with Kev, and we'll. Hey, man, maybe I'll have a story from the Eric's bachelor party. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Who knows. This guy really shut down. Now he's drawn. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a, long time, we? Eh, a little bit. Maybe, I mean, not that long. Shoot, there we're was, just, just there was something messed stuff. up you did in the past. I was wondering if you were going to tell the story. Now I can't remember it. Really? Give it some thought and tell me off mic. Oh, God. I'll, I'll remember. It'll come to me. But I got a little something for St. Louis lined up. All right. You know? Yeah. And if I can't think of anything, I'll go out and... And just do something. I'll join Quinn this, need, this weekend in Atlanta. <laughs> I need, some quick, quick, around. quick! I need material. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's it then, right? That's gotta be nothing else. No more. Why did you? You know, I did want to ask you this though earlier. Why did you say Monster Bill uh, Brian defensive? Oh, did because it, uh, like, no, there was that whole joke about how uh, you know Walt was like, "Yeah, he's my friend. He's not your friend. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not your friend." I got gotcha. you. A little. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 He's an acquaintance. You, you just don't throw He's, that word around. I I, uh, I do, but really? you know I do. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know you, I do. This is my friend. And it's always a female. Well, hey. Always a female. And there's always that second phone ringing. <laughs> That's right, that I got. TESD.ting.com. Thank you. Steve. Really petered out. 